Hey, hey, and welcome back to Butterfly Tarot for Business. Now, before I start, I must say to you that all of my readings are for entertainment purposes only, and they will be very entertaining. You'll get your card reading, but you've also got to check where the dots are on the, the board because I do move them around sometimes. And um, let's begin with today's reading. So I am going to shuffle the cards. Oh, and one's jumped out at me. So as always, I'm going to go with a card that has just jumped out at me and put that down there. So this card says, it's not a very good um, image, but um, I will be working on that. This card is follow your dreams. So if there's an inspiration or thought that is coming to you, something that you just really really want to do it makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck and you just oh you just really really are behind it do you know what go for it what have you got to lose so follow those dreams get those plans out and now we'll actually start the proper reading so here's a situation we're not saying that isn't the proper reading because it is now situation around you there is a new love coming in. So this will be around your passion for your business. So there's something that you're going to get start getting very passionate about. It's obviously following your dreams because these cards all link together. Ignore the picture. The witch is feeding the frog a bit of pasta. But I think the frog is Italian. Absolutely loves pasta. So everything's okay there. But what this is saying is there is a new beginning for you. There is a new start here for you where you, do you know what? You can walk through that door and you can start what you want to be doing. So new start, new passion, follow that passion and all of that energy that is around your passion because you are allowed to do this. And if you want to do it, you go for it. I'm saying you're allowed to do it as long as it's nothing totally illegal. Um, just putting that out there. But I'm pretty sure you won't be watching this channel if you were doing anything illegal. Right. Let's have a look at what is stopping you. So the next card that what is stopping you. Oh, now this is interesting. This is a money card. So it might be that you feel you haven't got enough money to be starting your business or following your passion well that's an easy one to look at because there are lots of people who want to invest in particular things that you might be doing but if they don't know what you're doing you haven't written it down then they're not going to invest but also do you want to aim towards your massive factory or your condominium or whatever and just look at the end result and go no I can't do that I haven't got the money to buy all of that well everyone starts off with little steps make a start on all the little things that you can afford to do put your money value against them if you need other people to help people like helping sometimes they'll help for a cup of coffee and chocolate um yep just putting that out there uh, depends what you're doing but plan out each step a relative cost around it what you can do what you can't do what are the options if you've got less money or more money but don't just go oh this is extravagant event and then you blow all your money and you haven't got anything to plan out but I would say probably do a, like a three month rolling plan in a little bit of detail and your end goals but make sure your end goals are just an idea so that you can, if your path's going a bit wiggly towards it, it really doesn't matter and it doesn't put you off. Now, let's have a look at what's going to help you. Oh, now, there we go. Oops, let's hold that up to the card so that you, you can see that. The camera even, hold it up to the camera. Now, we have some choices here that you need to make and decisions. So one of them, you've got a little owl there. So that looks like it's the wise decision. One of them, you've got the cat there. So that looks like it might be one that your, your friends or your family are trying to steer you towards. And then one, you've got a bit of like spilt milk. So I would carefully think about your choices. I would probably not go with the one with the spilt milk and the rat. And you should identify what that is. I would probably not go with the friends and family because people are, let's just say, 
Sometimes they'll unintentionally sabotage what you want to do. Sometimes they're helpful. So, so bear in mind what they're saying. But friends, sometimes it'll be, well, I tried that and it didn't work. And then straight away that puts a damper on what you want to do. But do you know what? You are not them. It might not have worked for them because that might not be the path for them but it might be the path for you. So you just keep quiet about anything you want to do until you've started to do it, but do make sure you have your wise decisions. So we're going to go with the owl. Now our wise decisions are, I think it's a project um, triangle. So we've got, is it within the budget? Is it on time? And does it meet our objectives? So you've got to work out what your objectives are. So if your objective on your first milestone is that you want to record four YouTube videos on a particular subject within a certain amount of time you put that down and you work towards that and then once you get there tick you've done it now feel that sense of achievement when you get there so we want to do the nice simple steps and work towards them so let's have a look at our next steps card now we have there you go this is a mind card. Now, with our mind card, we have people trying to help us. It looks like there's a bit of frustration going up in the top there because the colour is a bit of a, I would say, a murky browny sort of colour. So there's been a bit of frustration and, um, and stress. But if you look around the donkey, it's all sort of golden colours. The sun is either setting or coming up I'm not really sure there but it's a lovely golden color there now gold is a divine color it is beautiful and they are trying to help the donkey even though the it looks like perhaps they're not doing a great job so bear in mind that people are trying to help you and you need to be discerning in what advice you take and what advice you don't take for the benefit of you. So please accept help gracefully if it is given in a genuine manner. Now let's have a look at our power animal card and what have we got going on here? Oh, we have the snake now. You are a healer so this is all around healing so with regards to your business it might be that you're actually doing a healing business or it might be that there's certain points in your business where you get to and then you have a massive wobble or you have people around you having a massive wobble now just I want to say stay calm words have the power to harm or heal words and vibration are massively important so just pick your words carefully because you can bring someone up just to heal them by words of praise but you can also destroy them so i would ask you to just if you are dealing with fragile people around you make sure your words are healing because if you bring in people working with you and people are your most important asset you are looking after them and they are looking after you and that is a really powerful union now the final card here we have the cosmic aldrin card and what does that say i don't know if you can see that one but it says if you relax every day for five minutes and repeat in your thoughts i love myself unconditionally and you truly feel it unconscious counter orders will disappear by themselves so what this is saying is if we're telling ourselves that we can't do something do you know what we're not going to be able to do it but if you're telling yourself you're lovely you deserve this you look in the mirror and you do it you might feel a little bit of an idiot but you can actually see if you're being genuine as soon as you start believing that your outlook is going to change your energy is going to change your vibration is going to change and you're going to be bringing yourself up to another level of vibration and if you've heard the saying like attracts like well it is true so you want to be vibrating at that really high level that success level and a little affirmation for you to repeat every day along with I love myself unconditionally is 
everything is always working out for me. And you just repeat that first thing in the morning and you believe that and then do you know what? You'll be flying high. So I will see you later for another reading. Please like and subscribe the channel and ta-ta for now.